Cracking, what's up, what's up? It's Dollarize, Mr. Risk Takers, in the spotlight with Mad Labs TV. You already know. Let's go and get it. Yeah. You in the spotlight with your boy Nemesis on Mad Labs TV. Today I got Dollar Rise, Mr. Yeah. Risk Taker. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to thank you for blessing me with your presence in my set. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You know what I mean? I'm going to ask you a couple questions. You know what I mean? Get a little bit informative for the, you know what I mean, the viewers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Where you from originally? I'm from West Philly, 51st, 52nd Street, Delancey yeah. Street. Grew up on Webster Street. I mean, so, you know, I always represented from Parkside to Willow Nave. Oh, okay. And on 52nd Street, you know, that's always been my stop and grind since a young boy, but, you know, moved abroad now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, everybody know who you are, bro, so it's, no, it's not like, you know what I'm saying? It's from the footwork, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean, from the music. You, you dig what I'm saying? You grinding, you grinding. Exactly. So speaking of music, man, how long you been doing the music? Doing the music since I was 11. 11? Yep. Yeah, I'm saying? So, like, you grew up in uh, West Philly, you know what I'm saying? Does... Does your environment like influence your music in any way? By, surrounded by hip hop and, and, and you know a hip hop environment, the streets, you know what I'm saying? So yes, my music reflects what I have grown up to be. You know okay. what I'm saying? What I what I came from or whatever you I mean, like so now, you know, I'm at a, a different point that I was, you know, at different times of my life or whatever, but through the music, I try to project all them different times of my life. Okay, okay. Man. So basically the music you do is, is real life? Hey, it's real it's real life. It's it's, it's based on what I've seen, what I've been around, you know what I'm saying, what, what my family is, what my homies are, you know what I'm saying, like, what we are. Like, I, I was told a long time ago, my sister told me, I mean, like, just go just go ahead and, and, and represent us, you know what I'm saying? So I represent us, people from, from Philly, you know what I mean? People from Philly's all around the world, you know what I mean? Like, people from the hood, you know what right. I mean? No matter how much money I get, I'm still going to represent my people and where I come from. Okay, so where are you trying to go with your music? Where are you trying to get it to take you? My music, I, I want to be worldwide at the end of the day. I want people in Africa. You know I mean, I already got fans in Africa. Right. You know what I'm saying, but I'm trying to have every every uh part of Africa, every continent right. rocking with Dollar Rise. I'm trying to have people in Asia, United Kingdom. You know, right. I just want to be international. You know, first we start with local Philly, then we go. You know I mean, East Coast, then we go abroad, West Coast. You know what I'm saying, and then we take it to the world, man. Okay. I mean, you know, world domination. That's what I want. All right, all right. So dealing with the music, man, like, what was, like, one of the hardest things you had to deal with when it came to the music? Come to music is having the money. I mean, I've been in positions where it's dope. I mean, like, uh, I can make big moves happen. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, like, uh, not having a budget myself, you know, or having somebody behind me putting that budget up. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I do what I got to do to get the money up. You know what I mean? And, like, at times... I mean, I felt as though, like, in order to do this, I got to do it like Jay-Z did it or T.I. did it or whatever. I mean, like, we know Jeezy. I mean, they got the, the, the history of trapping. You know what I'm saying? Getting that bread up. So they was already up. And it wasn't about nothing to get in the game. So okay. me, personally, I'm looking at it like, I got to do what they did because I still got bills and all this type of stuff. I mean, babies on the way and all this type of stuff. So I'm trying to get this bread up. So, you know, I get right. the bread up because everybody say, what's your budget? It's the first thing everybody say. Right. So, you know, if you ain't got money to spend in a rap game, how far can you really go? Right. All right. And last and final question. Where do you see yourself in the next three years? The next three years? Yeah. I mean, like, I want to be, I mean, like, an international artist signed to some type of company that's putting that bread that I can't put up myself. Okay. I mean, behind me, like, if it's a partnership, if, if I have to, I mean, do a couple albums or whatever, like, I knock them Jones out fast. Like, it's not about nothing. Like, get right. the work done. We, we come from being hustlers and grinders, so... I mean, like, all right, they look at it as like, oh, you're a slave to the label, da -da -da. and you're not necessarily like, that's what you're in this for. Like, you want somebody to get behind and be able, you be able to push physical copies. I want my physical copies before they out of style or whatever the next wave is that people are buying. Right. I need that distri distributed across the country and the world. I mean, like, I can do what I do. I've been doing what I do. I mean, I want to have that partner, I mean, that backing to put, put you know, push this brain. Okay. I got a few brands. I mean, Dollar right. Rise and Risk Takers. Mm -hmm. I mean, Risk Takers need a distribution. You know what I'm saying, like, right. I can distribute it, but so far, what I've been doing, I mean, like, but you know, some major company get behind this and, and, and push this thing. I mean, like, it's already, you know, it's already good good product. I already got right. dope raps. I've been spitting dope raps. I mean, but like, 
that dope, you mean somebody else gotta come in and in front of me a brick or whatever to move, you know what I mean like something. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yo, man, yo, that was all the questions, bro. Yo, I appreciate you blessing my set again, man. Oh, not man. my first time interviewing, definitely not my last. You feel me? Oh, you got man. any shout outs? You working, baby. You got any um, shout outs? Shout outs, man. Shout outs. Everybody that's grinding, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, shout out to you. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Bad Lab. Shout out to Ace Bitch. I mean, in the session right now. You know, mm -hmm. it's the murder team. Murderville, you know what I mean? Y'all can check for that on the internet and all that. You know what I mean? Like, shout out Riz, the ruler. What's up, African? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Shout out all my folks, man. That's just doing what they do, man. Everybody. All right, my man. My bro, my cousins, fam. fam you know what I mean? My for sister, sure. what's up? <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. And I appreciate it, man. Peace, King. All right. Good looking. All right. Salute.